Wait, did it start? Hey, this is Jeff um, at Vineyard for you. How you doing, Jeff? Good. What are you doing today? Putting in rows at the end of vine rows. And why do you do that traditionally? Traditionally, you get uh, advanced warning because they're more sensitive than vines, roses. So you might see incoming pest problems or other types of potential problems for the vines. Right on, like powdery mildew, you see it there first, aphids, you see it there, and then you take care of your vineyard, right? Right on. So we're doing it just to look good because we are dialed in here at Vineyard for You, so we're, we're spraying ahead of the pest. But we're going to do it, this own homeowner in Saratoga wants this, so Jeff, what's the stick in your hand for? Uh, we're going to measure out the exact distance so it's uniform throughout the, uh, the vineyard from the distance from the end post. Nice. So we're looking at two feet six inches and it's easy to just lay it down in front of the row. So that, then what, what's this new device you have here? Holy smokes. Uh, is that a two man? It's a one man auger. One man auger. Never heard of that before until Jeff came around. He thinks of all these things. So uh, Just line it up with the, your, uh, your stick. Turn it on. Jeff, you know there's a pipe there, and we were a little nervous we'd hit that, but um, you know just the way it looked, we we figured we wouldn't. It just is wet, and it gets stuck there because of the clay, so it just took a little longer. But he gets the clamshells next. Why do you do the clamshells, Jeff? When you have an auger, loose clay or dirt that the auger uh, screwed out. Okay, so he's just he's cleaning out the hole now. And what's that green thing on your? For? What, what, what are you into neon or what's that green thing for? Measure the depths of the roses so we know how deep we want the hole to be. Damn, damn that guy's good. And then he could, he could straighten it out too if the auger's off a little bit. So instead of this taking like a half hour with these clamshells only, you know, and, and the clay sticks to the clamshells, you got that auger which is about $250. It's, it's, worth, a t it's worth your time, um, two stroke engine. Same thing as your weed eater. So he's he's augering it out, or hand augering it out. And he once he gets that hole reamed, he's gonna put this hybrid T rose in here. And this is a beautiful double delight. It's four inches, excuse me, four feet tall. And we have it two two like Jeff said, two foot six inches away from the the post end post, so it you know it can grow and not be all over the end post. Some people put it right underneath it, and it, to me it's a little cluttered. So. He's going to get this and he's going to hit the sides of it. There's a lot of good topsoil in there, so he's going to scoop some of the topsoil off with his hand. And I'm going to walk around here so I can see how he's doing that. So he's going to get the topsoil off with his hand. This is this vineyard's in Saratoga and we got these in Sonola Calaveras. A nursery is a family business and that's why I like working with them 50 years they've been in business these are great shape these roses are amazing they're hybrid tea roses so now what are you doing with the knife Jeff what, what, what are you doing in the rose it's digging in seams about one inch deep into the sides to free up the roots Wow I couldn't said that better myself he's, he's loosening up the roots and there's just root hairs on the edge so those um, you know cut those up a little bit he wants to sink that a little bit so there's already a basin see when you get an auger like this there's already a basin uh, made so he doesn't want to put the clay on top he wants to put the clay around that basin and so he'll come and he'll get it all dialed in but he might cut that that stake see the stake that's already on the rose it might not be in the right spot so we're gonna cut it anyway 
later and, and level it out and hammer it down so it's exactly straight with the vine row. And there you have it. Jeff, fine job there.